the positioning for the for the for catering to the growing demand of automation and robotics. Yeah. Now, I believe that Indian manufacturing is um, uh, has many uh, layers. Okay. So we have really superb manufacturing as well as the middle level and right. below the middle level Absolutely. also. Uh, so it's unfair to put them all together. Right. But on the whole, our manufacturing is progressing. And uh, the reason we need automation is for ability to address large volumes in a consistent, reliable, repeatable way. This is one. And secondly, automation, robot automation particularly, supports uh, un, uh, sort of unfriendly environments in foundries, in uh, <coughs> paint and such places where human beings can't work effectively. So robots are very much needed. Uh, we don't have uh, the kind of labor force we need. These days machine sales are being constrained not just by low demand but also absence of workers. So for this our robots are very well positioned. Um, they are extremely reliable. Our uptime is in excess of mean time between failures is in excess of 50 years okay. and uh, Farnook never says no to service mm -hmm. so you can use a robot till the end of its usable life it, there is no such thing as now it is obsolete you must buy the next model so when you calculate all of this plus the fact that our servo technology mm -hmm. our robots are the most power uh, efficient mm -hmm. so you will cons and also if you see our robots are the most slim profile yeah, yeah, yeah. so they consume less power, they consume less space, all, all together. So, and it's a high uptime. So the cost per piece is really very low. And since it is never down, the, uh, the low, it's the lowest total cost of ownership if you divide it by... Productivity also goes up. Yes. So we do not view this as a high cost solution. Okay. Initial okay. price sometimes makes people worry. But our robots are very well positioned and you can get a robot for between 15 and 16 lakhs altogether landed. Of course, uh, there are many types of robots and so on. So this is one piece that I feel they're very well positioned for India. And of course, our largest customer is Maruti Suzuki, where we have uh, robots in the thousands. But um, our proudest moment is when small customers give us repeat orders. So when you talk about SMEs, mm -hmm. we have many SME customers in Jaipur and Rajkot and uh, <coughs> all kinds of uh, interior cities who use our robots for machine tending. Mm -hmm. Some of them use it for welding. Mm -hmm. One place, one of our customers uses our robot for welding two-wheeler parts. Mm -hmm. And when he bought competition robot, his workers were so upset that he had to paint it yellow <laughs> to make them accept it. That sounds okay? Good. So that's some, like, some backhanded compliment. So uh, we are very well angled to manufacturing. Mm -hmm. We are not some creamy layer thing which is there for museums. Uh, having said that, um, what do we specifically offer in terms of automation for um, the absolute starters? Is we have just launched a new CNC. Okay. It is the FS0M8 yes. uh, package 5. Mm -hmm. It is aimed particularly at Indian machine builders. Mm -hmm and uh, it is priced very appropriately. Only those features which are strictly required are uh, integrated in that. The rest have been left out to bring the cost down. But in typical Farnook fashion, it is not a, a underperforming CNC. It is higher performing than the current okay. uh, FS0 I made. So package 5 is higher performing, lower cost. Okay. Okay. So we have many such in our arsenal to address the um, cost conscious market which entire India is right. even Maruti Suzuki is very very cost conscious Absolutely. Hero Motor Corporation is severely cost conscious these days who isn't no and we should be exactly. we should, I think uh, efficiency of any sort is a measure of your excellence Absolutely. so cost efficiency is important we don't believe in waste at all so how do you see the demand for the machine tools um, you know will it taper will it stay uh, no, uh, it... <clears throat> to put it in perspective Last year itself was slow, yeah. and this year, that is 13-14, uh -huh. most of our customers will be lucky if they meet previous year's target, numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not target, numbers. numbers. If okay. they just equal 11-12, right. it'll be a good time. 
no, not twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Uh, because we are driven by automotive. Automotive is down. But all our customers, many of our customers, I'm happy to say, are exploring new markets. I'm talking machine builders. Yes, yes. And we have launched Package Five. We have launched uh, CNC in Hindi. We are coming up with a CNC in Tamil. What's a CNC in Hindi and uh, Tamil? All the when you program a CNC, presently it's in English. Okay, okay. okay. That, 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 so as it is operating. The manual. Uh, no, the CNC to okay, that, that. Okay, program okay. a CNC on a machine oh, okay. or on a RoboShot or even on oh, a robot. How interesting. Now, as it is, you have less operators, mm -hmm. and now you put this English interlock. That if you don't speak English, then you can't do anything. Or if you can't speak English, then you can press any button. It will break down. Absolutely. Fanuc will make service income. What is the point? Mm -hmm. But the customer loses productivity. Mm -hmm. So we have made it in Hindi, which is Rashtra Bhasha. And we found it's the largest language in India. Absolutely. And the later we will launch one in Tamil. Because of Chennai and Odhuri. Yes, and yes. Uh, to widen the net of operators who can uh, comfortably and fully utilize a Fanuc machine. Okay. So a Hindi one is operational. Yes, it is operational. Since, Since when? Uh, it was launched in Imtex 2013. Okay. And uh, it is now going to be built shortly. Okay. Because it, there's a lot of development which needs to be done. Absolutely. Uh, <coughs> so, the market is down. Okay, so when you said, will the volumes taper down? I am hoping the volumes will taper up now because it has been down for quite some time. Quite some time. But um, we should not just look at volumes. We are here to stay. So we look at the larger market. We explore general industry, not just automotive. And we have had many successes, small successes. This, for example, we have just developed is in mold labeling. Right. Okay. Now it is a sunrise area Absolutely. in India. Absolutely. It is old now in Europe and Japan and so forth. But no machine tool builder which makes an injection molding machine yeah. has developed in house a complete solution. Yeah, exactly. So tomorrow, if you want, if you are Nestle or Amul or their vendors, mm -hmm. we have a ready made product for you. And which are the other sectors you're focusing on? Um, we are focusing on the welding industry. Absolutely. So we have come up with the spatterless welding. You mm -hmm. see, welding is a forming. That is, it joins two pieces of metal. Yeah. But the quality, of course, India, it doesn't demand high quality. But if this filled with burrs and splatters and all, then uh, supposing you have a sari guard which has been welded and there are splatters, your sari will catch Absolutely. in it. So our welding by the STT, surface tension transfer, is like butter. I'll show it to you. It doesn't get hurt at all. No, it's no. like butter yeah, yeah, or like yeah, silk. Yeah, yeah. And this is welding a cylindrical piece onto a plate. Mm -hmm. This is so it's your circular welding. Mm -hmm. This is welding a thin hexagonal plate onto a slim disc. Yes, yes, yes. And if you can just ring, wrap your fingers over, and it is absolutely yeah, smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in one shot. Done here. It's here, right? It's done here. So By what, this arm, yeah. So what we are trying to say is that we are addressing the high volume, high productivity welding market. While keeping a check on the price and product. And one shot quality. Absolutely. You don't have to deburr it. You don't yeah. have to polish it. So the time, the turn out, turn around time. And this robot better. can work non-stop, 24 hours, no downtime. Mm -hmm. And uh, wire consumption is the most efficient in our industry on a Fanuc robot. Mm -hmm. Which matters if you're an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You, you count everything. everything. It's not just no. the cost of the robot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And things like that. So we're, we're trying to grow. We are trying to develop our team. Mm -hmm. This is always important. Yeah, I saw you talking to the school kids also. Yes. So uh, how do you, you want to mentor them? Do you mentor the next generation of well, talent? And Yes, I think it is very important to uh, pay attention to our school kids. That was a bunch of NTTF graduates, mm -hmm. not gra third year students. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very happy to see they had a few girls also. I'm all for boys. Yeah. I'm not only for girls. But, um, you know, I was trying to ask them, what did they see? Because it's very easy to come to an exhibition and, and get just, tired. Yeah. And you don't understand. Nobody takes you seriously. Yes. So I thought we should. And uh, so they could not explain it, honestly. They had not understood it at all. So I've given them some homework to go see these welding robots. Okay. And I think if you talk to them, our people are very bright. They just need someone to engage with a little confidence. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we feel that the younger generation is very much more confident than we were. This is true. But everybody is happy with a little more a compliment or a helping hand. Absolutely. And yeah, we work very closely with colleges. 
uh, we welcome them as uh, uh, trainees in Fanuk. We have uh, college campus visits and we have uh, robot courses. Just last year we developed, designed exclusively for colleges. Okay, okay. Because we feel robots are very simple and why not a college kid also get hands-on experience. So we've done this and uh, it's showing some results. We hire uh, in abundance from colleges, small okay. NTTF and uh, SIPET. Oh, SIPET okay. is a yeah, plastic yeah, institute yeah, yeah. for yeah, our yeah, injection yeah, molding. Yeah, yeah. And many of our very high performers are graduates from there.